Welcome everybody to Extreme Off-Road Silly Bills and today we're dealing with a 1948 Ferrari 166 MM Barchetta. Now this has 860 horsepower, 578 pounds feet of torque from a 4.5 litre twin turbocharged V8 engine and the vehicle itself now weighs 1,424 pounds, has the usual all-wheel drive, off-road tyres and off-road suspension and can now do 0-16 3.226 seconds, 0-105.269 seconds and going to a top speed of 239 miles an hour. So yeah, this is easily one of the oldest cars that we've had on this series, but I live in hope that this will be quick because we currently have a uh, another classic uh, Ferrari racing car in the top 10 in the form of the 250 LM. Well, granted, that is a lot newer than this. It's about 15 years newer than this. So yeah, this doesn't quite have the uh, advantage of age on its side, but it does have the advantage of very little in the way of weight and a hell of a lot of power so uh, that's in comparison to that weight obviously it's nowhere near as powerful as some vehicles we've had on this series but 860 horsepower and something that weighs less than 1500 pounds is still a hell of a lot so uh, yeah I'm hoping the weight will be an advantage rather than a disadvantage now obviously this was never meant for doing this it certainly wasn't meant for all wheel drive and uh, yeah didn't have anywhere near this horsepower either, but as you can see, it's dealing with everything mostly okay so far. Some control issues in terms of oversteer or understeer, but as soon as we get to a bit more of a uh, straight area, we're uh, pretty much flying. So, uh, to be really cautious because we probably have very little in the way of control. Slipping and sliding all over the place. It's not enjoying the uh, combination of a lot of extra power and uh, this off-road surface. It's fairly quick for that section though, thankfully. hell of a lot of quick over the finish line that is easily the fastest car we've had over the finish line but it only manages a time of 2 minutes 3 seconds point zero one six. I say only but that has beaten the 250 LM from 1963 which we talked about earlier which is a mighty surprise because that obviously was really quick in its own right and is obviously 15 years newer but yeah somehow this has managed it despite the fact it was looked really rather messy and we are hitting walls left right and centre it still managed a ballistic time and uh, yeah that's the second classic uh, Ferrari in the top five now only slightly behind the Maserati Levante S and the Chevrolet Corvette ZR1 some about half a second off the uh, no 0.4 of a second should I say off the uh, Lamborghini Urus which isn't all that much uh, and uh, yeah faster as well than the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento the uh, Mini X-Raid All 4 Racing Countryman and the Jeep Grand Cherokee Track Court. Obviously, uh, the Jeep and the Mini there being cars that are made for going off-road. So, uh, yeah, mightily impressed by this. And again, it just shows that a car that is, you know, not necessarily made for going off-road can be quick. And, uh, yeah, this and the 250 LM are proof of that, as well as obviously the Corvette, which still sits in second place. Nonetheless, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Bye.